Hello everyone, I want to share with you today uh, a book that my grandmothers and my, my mother read to me quite often growing up. It's called The Little Red Hen. It's by Paul Galdon and his publisher is Clarion. Who can, who can see the caterpillar on this cover? Can you find the caterpillar? Let's get on with our story. Once upon a time, a cat, a dog, and a mouse, and a little red hen lived all together, cozy in a little house. The cat liked to sleep all day on a soft couch. The dog liked to nap all day on a sunny back porch. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Oh, I see that caterpillar is back too. Do you see that caterpillar in that picture? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Uh-oh, and our caterpillar is back. Is he somewhere in that picture? Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When, it was when the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, now who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground up for flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The little red hen then returned from the mill, carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour, asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with all the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. Soon a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. The dog got up from his sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. Uh-oh, guess who's back? Can you see that caterpillar in this picture? The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will, cried the cat. I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. But the little red hen said, All by myself. I planted the wheat. I tended the wheat. I cut the wheat. I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour. All by myself, I gathered the sticks. I built the fire. I mixed the cake. And all by myself, I'm going to eat it. And she did, to the very last crumb. After that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. Thanks for listening to the little red hen. I think today it's in, in this world that we're in, 
uh, trying to deal with COVID-19, that it's important that we all pitch in together and, and help each other to get through day to day, helping in the kitchen, helping clean the house, doing things we probably should be doing anyway, but now we're all together as families. So let's all pitch in together and, and make this a great experience for us all and, and turn this lemon that we have into some bright lemonade. Thank you, Mr. East, for sharing your favorite story, The Little Red Hen. Now, let's review the story, see what we can remember, and also figure out what the moral of the story is. Our first question, who is the main character of the story? Well, we have four options. Our first choice is the cat. Our second choice is the dog. Our third choice is the hen. And our fourth choice is the mouse. Who do you think is the main character of the story? Well, I know I can eliminate a few. The first one I can eliminate is the cat. The cat said, not I, when the hen asked for help. So I don't think it's the main character of the story. The next one I can eliminate is the dog. The dog was kind of sleepy throughout the story. And I think I can also eliminate the mouse. So the main character of the story, yes, is the little red hen. Where did each character sleep? So this question asks us to remember where the cat, the dog, and the mouse slept. Here's our choices. A hammock on the back porch. A warm chair, comfy and cozy by the fire. A soft couch. Well, thinking back to the beginning of the story when each of the characters were introduced, Hopefully, we remembered that the cat loved the soft couch. The dog preferred his time lounging and sleeping in the hammock on the back porch. The mouse was all cuddled, looked like under some soft, warm blanket by the chair in front of the fireplace. What did the little red hen make in the story? Here's our choices. A loaf of bread, a fresh wheat cake, muffins, and chocolate chip cookie. What did the little red hen make in the story? Well, while I love fresh bread with butter, I know that's not what the little red hen made. And those muffins do look delicious, but I can also eliminate that choice. Chocolate chip cookies may be a favorite, but of course the little red hen made fresh wheat cake in the story. Now we need to place the pictures in the correct order for the little red hen to make that warm, fresh, delicious wheat cake. So let's take a look at our pictures to see what's going on so we can place them in the correct order. The first picture shows the little red hen with a watering can. In the second picture, the little red hen is carrying some stalks of wheat. In the third picture, the little red hen is in front of her stove. In the fourth picture, the little red hen is cutting her stalks of wheat. 
And in the last picture, the little red hen has a hoe in her garden. From these descriptions and the pictures, can we place them in the correct order? What do you think is the first thing the little red hen did? Correct. The little red hen found sweet seeds and decided to plant them in her garden. What happened next? For the wheat to grow, the little red hen had to water the wheat and tend the garden, pulling up the weed so the wheat would grow big and strong. What happened next? Excellent. The little red hen cut the stalks of wheat. But what do you do after you cut the wheat? What would be next in the story? Correct. The little red hen had to take the stalks of wheat to the mill to have it ground into flour. So what would be the last in our order of making the cake? Correct. The little red hen adds the ingredients, the wheat, the um, eggs, the milk, and bakes the cake. Who ate the cake? Here are our choices. The cat, the dog, the hen, and the mouse. The cat didn't get to eat the cake. The dog did not get to eat the cake. The mouse did not get to eat the cake. Excellent work. The only farm animal that ate the cake was the little red hen. What is the moral of the story? To figure out the moral of the story, let's look at the two pictures. In the first picture, we see the dog, the cat, and the mouse, kind of with a shocked look on their face, watching the little red hen devour all of the yummy sweet cake. Why do you think the hen is the only animal eating the cake? Could the cat, dog, and mouse have helped the hen? Why do you think they did not? In the second picture, the dog, cat, and mouse are doing chores around the house and helping out. Why did they have a change of attitude when they so quickly said, not I, before? This book, The Little Red Hen, has two main ideas. The first is that when you work hard, it pays off and you get to reap the benefit of your hard work. The Little Red Hen worked very hard in our story and she enjoyed the cake that she made. The second is that when you don't help someone do something, you can expect to reap the benefits from it when it's finished. Maybe this story will help you make good choices when a teacher, a parent, or an adult asks you to help. 